I want to start. Yeah, let me give it some more air here. Whoa! Hey guys, in some videos I, I saw online, I saw some people running their, their generators and their lawnmowers off gasoline vapor. So I wanted to see if I could go ahead and do this for myself and see if all the results out there are actually true. So let's go ahead and start this project. Um, I have here a lawnmower and I'm going to go ahead and start opening it up right now. So I want to get into the air intake portion of the engine. So I'm going to remove the air filter. Pretty simple here. There's the air filter. And now I have to remove this box over here. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to mount my vaporizing system to the, the carburetor here. So I went out and I got a flange here with a half inch thread over here where I can screw in the pipes in there um, looks like I have to cut out a piece here so it can fit right here onto the air intake here of the carburetor and um, drill a few holes here to screw it on and mount it over here so let's go ahead and do that okay so now that I have my flange cut to the right dimensions that I want to cut, I want to go ahead and start marking the holes of where I'm going to drill for the screws to go into to mount this this plate, which I'm going to call now plate onto the cal carburetor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick with some paint in it and come in from behind and just dab from behind, dab exactly where I want to drill my screw holes. That's one. There's the other hole. Okay. Boom. So there's where we have to drill. So now we're gonna go ahead and make sure we clean out all this paint from the threads in here. We don't want that to be a problem when we're mounting everything back up. Okay, now I'm gonna start drilling my screw holes. Okay, so I drill the holes and I grind it down to some of the sides of the plate here. So let's see how well it fits up in there now. Put our screw in here. Just put another screw in here. Just make sure everything lines up well here. Looks good. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and screw it all in. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting all our tubing together. I apologize for the loud engine noise in the back. I might have to cut this out. What can we do? Alright, so let's screw our pipe in here. I'm just doing everything hand tight for now. This is a pipe elbow for a sprinkler system. So now I want to put this into my vaporizer container. Um, so how I'm going to do this is, this has threads on it, half inch, this is half inch. I'm going to cut these like washers and I'm going to drill a hole into the container, put this in there, put one washer behind and one washer in front, unlock it in place. And this is going to be the side that goes into the air intake of the engine. And for the other side where the fresh air is going to come into the container, I'm going to use this tubing here. So I'm going to actually use this. It has little holes in here. I'm going to drill a hole into the side of the container, put this in there, and snake this down inside like so and it's gonna sit in the bottom here and as the air is sucked in it's gonna bubble up some of the the gas and help vaporize the gas that's coming through so let's go ahead and start doing this all 
I already have my washers cut. I'm gonna thread this into here. And then I'm gonna take this here and slide it in and screw this in from the back here. So I'm just threading this through here. It's nice that this tubing actually came with a rubber grommet and I was able to utilize this in a positive way. So here's what the tubing looks like inside the container. I have it coiled around in there so when we pour the gas in there, it'll bubble it up. Okay, now I'm going to connect my tubing. Let's see here, for the gas. And connect the other side here. And I changed the design here a little bit, but it's the same thing. I just got rid of the extra parts. Now we're just trying to now we're just trying to suck all the gas out of here because we want to make sure there's no gasoline in there when we're running the engine. And then we're going to start it up and um, run it dry to make sure all the gasoline in the engine burns out. So we're trying. Alright, so I think all the gas is gone from the engine, so let's fill up our container with gasoline. Okay, so we have a little bit of gas in there, and I'm going to cap it. Okay, so now we're going to see if we could start the engine. Alright, so I'm going to close this one off because I want to get more gas than air in there for now. Let's try it out and see how this works. Bubbling. Want to start. Right, let me give it some more air here. Whoa! Okay, so let's do a quick summary of what's going on here. Um, this is the vaporizing container here. I added one more uh, tube here to get some more airflow in here and get some more fuel vapor to go into the engine. This is the out of the tube here to the engine, which carries the, the, the gasoline vapor. And I have a valve here if, if there's any need for me to control the amount of vapor going into the engine. I also have here a valve for fresh air. Fresh air goes in through here and I can also control the amount of fresh air here. You want the right, right ratio for the engine to work correctly. And all this goes right into the air intake of the carburetor for the engine. So this is a pretty simple setup. I made this video to let you guys know this is something you could do on your own and it's fairly simple. 
I think the hardest part of this video was making this plate over here to adapt everything to go into here. Some engines might be easier to work on, but that's the way that this engine was set up. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see my videos, and let me know in the comments section below um, what you think of the video. So thanks again for watching. Peace.